Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Pixel High Def here. Hey, how you doing today? We are in the top lane against our Garen counter. Um, Garen's actually the number one counter to Wukong. And so I'm going to show you how to beat this lane and uh, enjoy some wins against a very difficult champ in top lane. As you can see, he's got his passive. That's his little uh, uh, glowy blue, uh, sorry, glowy green lights. I'm not colorblind, I promise. Uh, we're going to do a little poke damage here. We do want to get a push so we can get uh, level 2 first because our spike is stronger than his. Um, but we're going to have to get that 7th minion faster than him. And we can do that, hopefully, getting all the CS at the same time and still um, wait for that. And then go in. He doesn't really have anything to counter yet. Now, I've got that passive. also got bone plating that I'm running right now. Um, that's going to help us with these short trades. Um, and that's going to also allow me to to get lead here there we go okay we got some good damage there go ahead and go in the bush to drop aggro continue focusing on cs cs is where we really make our um, bread and butter here now top lane do have evelyn looking at about three minute mark so i'm probably going to want to go ahead and just poke here a little bit longer but keep an eye that she will be coming to lane if she notices this lane is losing It might be enough to kill him. Nope, not quite. Okay, that's fine. He will regen health, which sucks. Um, but uh, we can push this lane and then we can reset and wait for the next time to come up. Obviously, I'm gankable at this point, so I do not want to stick around. I do have my exit. I did not take flash because I'm going to use um, teleport to get back in lane quickly. And continue um, pushing and putting pressure on this top lane. See, Evelyn's right there. And we're going to go ahead and get back here. I don't think she's, uh... Okay, so Evelyn probably went back. I didn't see her exit that bush. And now we'll continue to have lane pressure here. Right now it's 19-16. Uh, I've already um, proven that I can uh, deal damage in this matchup. And hopefully he will stay out of lane. Um, since he left, oh, he's there. Gonna get, that's even wave that'll hold there. Let's ward this, see where he's at. Fantastic. We don't know where Evelyn's at, and I do not want to go in on him because Evelyn could be in the bush. Go in the bush, drop aggro. There we go. Try to make sure that when you uh, harass, you do it in the intervals between CSing. You really not, it's not really worth to harass if you're going to lose CS, because CS is how you win the game late. So it's really good to make sure you're keeping up with CS best you can. Okay, he, he got a good uh, trade there. Uh, the Q poke has really good um, distance, so that helps me to get in and do some damage without him really reciprocating. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that great? You just want to keep that down so his passive doesn't allow him to regenerate. And, and now, Evelyn came up here earlier, and I suspect that she will come up here again. Um, so I want to just go ahead and push that in. Like, Knight's coming up in 10 seconds. I don't have enough uh, mana for a good combo, so I'm just going to reset here. And pick up a sh uh, Phage, so I've got a little bit of movement speed. Make sure we get a full bar of mana. He's very mana hungry. And we'll head to lane. Teleport's down. So this will push right into us. Did he just flash? He just flashed. I'm not sure that was intentional. <laughs> so that means we can run him down. That'll be good. Now if I go around here, actually, I can just kill him. I 
I will be missing a lot of see. Oh, he sees me. He's got vision there. Okay, that's fine. Ah! Now, what I want to do to freeze this is I want to have four minions. Okay. Oh, three minions. I'm sorry. We're just going to last hit. That's going to keep it on our side. Now, it's a little bit difficult because the wave's coming in so heavily. I'm not going to be able to really keep it here. There we go. I had enough room to run. He didn't have a slash because he screwed that up. And uh, we had a deer there to tank a couple shots if we needed to, to get in under tower. So that was a good, good counter, kind of a good gank right there. Wasn't necessary, but he was there just in case. And he's going to teleport. He's going to teleport right here. Yep. Because the teleport drops between the object and your home, um, like tower, so to speak. Oh, I missed that. My bad. All right, I've got enough. Let's go ahead and grab machine. Let that push back into us. If you can push this in, it's ideal, but because he technically could freeze it, but he's not. He's doing a lot of damage. These so he's just gonna keep pushing into my tower. He doesn't know how to wave management, which is that's why I know I can I can win this lane here. I'm gonna pick up this. I can't get my far sight yet. Here we go. Not gonna worry about this. My teleport's not up. I'm not going to be able to waste time going over here. It's going to be worth it. It looks like we're going to get Dragon without any um, anybody trying to uh, attempt to prevent it. Oh, I got that last one. That was actually... didn't look like the animation... Uh, we can contest here, so we're going to go ahead and just push this in here and uh, make sure that he doesn't have any vision. He doesn't want nothing to do with me. We're just going to freeze it out. If he gets close, we'll just poke him up a little bit. We want to keep the minions, so we can just hold it right here. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here, but I, I can handle it. You could also pop your W if you really wanted to. And I should be able to kill him once I have another um, rotation up and 30 second ignite. Okay, we'll just hold it here. Let him know that we're, you know, he's going out of lane. He's going to miss a lot of CS here. I'm already up 20, which is one kill. So by keeping it here, it's not going to be good for him. Especially if he doesn't get a kill on this roam. He's coming back to lane. You know, he's got no kill, and he's down another 6 CS. And look how many minions he's lost. not really utilizing his E real well. He could hang on me a little longer and he's choosing not to and that's that's fine. And there we go. Now would I have been able to kill him by myself? Eventually. Make sure that you use your E on here so you get the increased attack speed. And remember, we're focusing on CS more than anything. CS is how we win the game. Now, if I'm in the lead like I am and I have enough kill pressure, which I don't quite yet, I need to get my full item. 
I can actually proxy the next wave and take some camps. Uh, well, uh, Garen's here huddled around his <laughs> around his tower, and, and we'll see how that, that works if I'm able to do that this game or not. All right, I got 1,700. Got enough for my item. I'm going to let this push back in. AP, AP. Uh, doesn't look like they really have a lot of damage. I'm just going to go AD damage here. We'll get our boots. We've got time to get the lane. This is a cannon wave, so I'm just going to push. We're going to probably miss our cannon. Uh, yeah, I'll go because I want that. I want the cannon minion. I can't freeze it. There's not enough minions. I can freeze this one though. When your cooldown's up, like my knights on cooldown night, my ultimates on cooldown, you don't want to be pushing in a lane because then you're going to put yourself in a situation where you're going to get ganked and that's not going to help you. So you just let it push into you and you freeze the lane. And then when that's over, wasn't necessarily worth it and I missed a lot of CS um, you were just gonna want to freeze it here until your all your cooldowns are up and then you can just kill them again so we're up uh, 40 now which is um, almost three kills and experiencing gold so that's huge um, he's level 9 I'm level 10 Always use your Q if you can on those. Okay. Big scary, big scary Garen. I wanna wait for him to use his Q. I don't want him to silence me. If he gets close, just smack him. Okay. Again, CS is the most important thing. So let's let's uh, engage him and harass him, but let's push that in um, and make sure we get the CS along the way. Killing spree. I want some vision in uh, River. I know that she oh, it looks like it's like this wave is gonna push. Go! I didn't have to burn that. My bad. Now Evelyn might be here, so I'm just gonna take these uh, fruit plants, get my mana back up. I don't have control ward, otherwise I put in that bush, but he, he's, he knows I'm there. And this at this point, I'm just getting fed. I'm very strong right now. Again, um, I can actually just take these back here and I can go in a bush and then reset it like that. I can hold it and just carry it around and then move it back into a bush uh, so I don't take as much damage. But I want to always freeze it outside my tower. Um, my ignite's back up, so it means I can uh, go an all in on him. Um, I would probably want to wait until my alt's up to keep him from running away too far since he will use his Q. And I'd probably want to engage after he has used his Q so he doesn't have it to get away. Every mistake is a and just as he gets close, whittle him down. Makes the engage easier. I missed two CS for that. That was dumb. And the Q is so long, it's really hard for him to avoid that Q when he goes in. Mid lane's losing, fortunately. An enemy has been slain. Okay, ten seconds. Evelyn might come up here. I might not do it, and he's so close to tower, I have no way to run him down. An ally has been slain. 
I love that distance, man. Let's clear this. I expect Evelyn to be here. I shouldn't have used it. I knew I couldn't get him. Darn it. Just not being patient. I don't want him to, uh, to hold this here. I want this pushed in. If you want toggle champion only on, that will really help in these type of situations where there's minions nearby and you want to make sure that you're queuing the right thing. So if you go on all in, you could easily um, screw that up by um, actually uh, queuing a minion instead of uh, the guy you're attacking, which doesn't reduce the armor. All right, we're going to get Black Cleaver here. Actually, for wave clear, I'm going to get T-Mat, and then we'll start getting um, Black Cleaver. I'm going to control ward and a blue guy. Come on. Ah! Okay. Don't want him to get tower. Okay. Put me to the test. Gosh, dang it. Get out again. I probably won't. Yeah, I got out. And I'll get tower here. Now I can rotate and help other lanes. This is where we get ahead now. Make sure we don't lose any more towers. Show me the path. An ally has been slain. Your team has destroyed. We want to be split pushing mid game. I'm gonna go back. I got 1400 gold. <clears throat> we can also get rid of this guy so we can get some additional damage. Probably kill them both. I just say you gotta get Lucian down. An ally has been slain. I thought I'd totally go top. I need to be split pushing. I 
Now, if he shows his face, he's dead. Oh, he does. Okay. Kill push this in. I'm going to rotate mid. I also have one minute to dragon. Ah, he got a good hook on me. my bad. Should have waited till they used all of their crap. Okay, at least we'll get rift up on top. That was my fault. You can go Titanic Hydra with him. Um, that'll give him some additional bunk. I usually go Ravenous for the lifesteal. Um, if we're looking at who's doing damage, it's going to be him. I already have my boots, but I can get Bramble to help um, build some resistance against that so I don't die as quickly next time. And then we'll probably go into Sterics at this point. I don't think we need Black Cleaver. So if I would have just continued split pushing, putting pressure on those lanes, I wouldn't have gone in and died on that. That was my bad. Um, teleport's up. Let's go ahead and teleport over here so we're within range. We've got plenty of vision around us. We can push this in, create some pressure. Gosh darn it. I got killed by the dragon. Fantastic. I took out uh, Lucian, but... Um, let's get some let's get some armor. I need some armor. I don't have any really. I, I bought this. They gave me 30. I need some more. That'll give me another 40. I'm going to be reducing 65%. And then let's get some additional damage. Good job, Adir. Alright. So again, not the best play here. I'm going to take top tank and let them take the mid. I'm going to take these jungle camps. We need to set this up a little bit better. We have really no vision on the other side. We need to get a pick if we can. Let's get some support up here for your deer as he tries to take inhibitor. Okay, that's fine. I think I guess he's just standing there. That was dumb. Should have gotten the kill from Tristana. 
That's why I sacrificed that. Just go up there and give it a smack, man. There we go. Good, he got out. Alright, alright, alright. My team has some skill. Okay, I have 40 seconds. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we need to push in this tower, take these camps, and push in that tower. Drags him up in 210. Baron's up. We do have vision on it. Rampage. And we should be. I mean, this game should technically be over. Um, split. Then I'll join. If they counter me. So I'm just to pull pressure, and then as soon as somebody shows up, I teleport over. Two people are here. We got Baron though, that's good. Um, we have um, Drag coming up in 53. Um, I should have just backed off. Uh, wouldn't They wouldn't have had time to go around me like they did. Um, and then I teleported over, I would have saved um, a death there. And that's why I won't get an S this game, but that's okay. You gave us a free Baron with that pressure. And should be a free dragon as well. I'll teleport in on this point so I join the fight. Or I can split push top to create additional pressure. Though there already has a uh, inhibitor lane. Shouldn't need it. Oh, no. Freaking. Sorry. Okay. They got a decent comp. I mean, they're able to land their shots, that's for sure. We don't really have an engaged tank. I mean, other than Silas. So, like, I don't know really how we can um, engage other than just me, you know, face checking. Probably enough to get this long sword, and then we can end. We need to end. Falling off, um, and soon. He just has that one dash. I gotta wait for that dash before I can go in. Uh, he'll have flash too, but if his flash and dash are both down, we should be able to, to do this.
Let's go ahead and get Scuttle, just so they don't try to... Ah, uh, Scuttle's not gonna matter, actually. That's good gold. And also take blue. Let's push in top lane. Okay, there's Lucian. Gosh, that R lasts so long. Doesn't have a combo. Game over. All right, so I totally destroyed my lane. Uh, team fighting was a little hard because of Lucian and all replay, but other than that, I mean, that's how you dominate your lane to get ahead, to stay ahead, and to um, have effect later in the game. Uh, as you can tell, my uh, stats were up. Uh, for plat play. Uh, side listed really well. Let's look at our stats real quick and our damage. Alright, so 753, I did have two, probably three unnecessary deaths there. Um, and then if we look at our graph DPS wise, um, I was dead for three of the main team fights, which kind of sucked, but, um, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the uh, gameplay. As you can tell, we destroyed our Garen player, who, um, according to uh, Poporo Fesser, he was a one-trick pony Garen. Um, and he <laughs> I didn't even realize that he left. <laughs> that's right, he wasn't in any of it later in the game because he sucks so bad. Um, when you shut down a the lane, they leave. Freaking left, dude. Freaking left. All right. Anyway, ciao. Hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy it. Love you all. Appreciate it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more content. Peace.